Yo guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel and in this episode we're going to cover the best ball playing centre backs that you can buy in FIFA 17 career mode. These are the type of players that Pep Guardiola or Vincento Montella would buy in their team because in their tactics they want players that you can play with the ball on their feet like especially defenders and goalkeepers but in this video specifically I'm going to be covering the centre backs but anyway guys let's just get into it. <laughs> You guys know how we do the cheapest to the most expensive. Anyway, the first one's gonna be Benjamin Pavard or whatever. Or Paviard or fuck knows, I don't know. But he's from France. And as you can see, he's got 68 short pass and 63 long pass. Might sound low, but you know, he's only 19 and he's already 70 rating. Those stats are actually really great for like a young cheap ball playing centre back. As you can see, 68 ball control and 60 dribbling as well. So yeah, he's one of the choices that you can get. Next we have Bushagli. Unlike the other guy, this guy actually has great potential. I think he's at 84, but anyway, as you can see, 60. 66 short pass, 63 long, and along with 68 and 66 dribbling and ball control, respectively, which is quite, which is really high for an 18 year old, not gonna lie. And he's, he can also play left back, so you know, it's quite versatile. Those dribbling stats could easily be like 75, 80 if you like train the dribbling stats and play him more often because you know, he's only 18 and he's only gonna grow. After that, we have the former real plate man, Mamana, again, as you can see, 72 short pass, 73 long, and 71 ball control. We're getting into the 70 mark. The only bad thing about him, as you can see, weak foot and skill moves, two star. I mean, skill moves, you know, most the backs don't have like three or f like four or whatever, but like, you know, weak foot's quite important because you feel to be worse style and pass on both foot, then you need that bitch. After that, we have Malang Sar, um, again, as you can see, 72 short pass, 69 long. And guess what? He's only 17 and he's got insane stats. As you can see, 70 crossing as well. Like, he's actually got weird stats for a centre back, but in a good way. Because look, look at his stats. A mental, he's good at everything. Physical, good at everything. Like, the only bad thing is it's just volleys, penalties, and stuff. Anyway, moving on, we have Marlon Santos, a former of Fluminense. Actually, I think he still plays for them. I think Barcelona just loaned him out. But anyway, he's got 80 potential, 67 short pass, 68 long pass, and you know, ball control 61 as well. I mean, dribbling could be improved, but training, that's what they're for. After that, we have Sen Juiced again. Again, yeah, I've bought this guy in one of my career modes. He's quite fast as well, like 81 pace, you know, you, that's really helpful on a centre back. But that's not even the thing. 60, 66 dribbling, 64 ball control, 67 passing, and 64 long. Like, that easily could be in the 70 mark. You don't, you don't even have to train this for, like, you actually could get there, and he's only 19. After that, we have the guy on loan from Real Madrid, Jesus Valle Vallejo, or whatever he's called. 72 short pass and 70 long pass. The first centre backs have 70 plus on bo both passing stats. And that's insane because he's only 19 and he's only going to grow up. After that we have David Garcia another Spanish centre back 72 short pass 69 um, long pass and also guys 75 ball control quite quite skillful Pep Guardiola just signed this for. After that we have Nicolas Stark I think he's a CDM yeah he can also play CDM or I think he used to be a CDM I don't even know but like he's got 74 short pass 68 long pass and 71 ball control which is quite high and he's also 6 foot 3 so most tall centre backs don't have like really great passing stats because I don't know they're just like you know lanky and they just can't pass but like this guy is, he starts a 75 rating really great potential of 85 and yeah he's probably one of the best choices to get in this list to be fair and also guys apparently he can play centre mid too after that we have Mauricio Lamos this guy's got one of the best potential in the game as it's like 88 potential but anyway as you can see 75 ball control 68 short pass which is the key stat and plays for Las Palmas you know he don't want to be playing there all, all his life so guys just sign his full not only that guys he's got amazing defending Stuff, 80 slide tackling and he's only 20. After that we have um, Christensen, a player on loan from Chelsea just like the other 40 players they have on loan. Um, but anyway guys, he's got 70 ball control, 74 short pass as you can see, along with six, 64 dribbling. Again, this guy sounds quite low on the dribbling stat but you know, he's only 19 and which of the normal centre backs have that much of a good dribbling stat. After that we have Diego Llorente, another player from Real Madrid on loan, as you can see, 74 short pass and 74 ball control. And he's also got decent potential as well, 84 potential so you know, you could get him. He's also a great slide tackling stat of 81. Yeah, he can also play CDM and right back. The last time I saw him, right, he had like 75 overall, but apparently he's 78 now. So next up, we have Ginter. This guy apparently, right, had like 15 assists or something for British Dortmund like two seasons ago or last season, I'm not sure. From the right back area as well, that's insane. And that's probably why he's got the massive, the passing stat boost. As you can see, 77 short passing, 74 long and 72 ball control as well. Looking at his technical stat, guys, this is the first centre back that basically is good at everything. I don't know if you guys actually noticed that, but yeah, he's really nice player to get. And he's 79 rating, 6 with 3 as well, so you know, really helpful with 
with slight tackling and he's only 10 million as well which is quite cheap for a 22 year old 79 player with all these great stuff next up we have Ruben Tameda of Sporting and as you can see guys this guy he hasn't got the best passing stats compared to the for ones that we just covered but I just had to include him because he's not really that bad like 60 long pass 64 short pass he's not that bad but he's actually great centre back look, look at his jumping and strength that's actually insane and he's just smiling all around and he, interestingly right he's also got the flare trade like what I haven't seen that on a centre back 87 aggression he's actually gonna choke slam the opponents but yeah we move on next up we have Jonathan Tarr and we're approaching the expensive list if you guys notice anyway he's got 73 short passing and you can see the technical stats on the right and yeah he's, he's a great centre back actually 80 rating right I think he's like 20 or something yeah and he's also got 88 potential and guys the last player we have is um titty and look at his face he's so proud of his stats uh, 78 short passing 71 long passing and really decent dribbling stat and he's also got 73 ball control which is quite decent and interestingly right outside of the foot shot so with three star weak foot and if he wanted to pass out from tight situations he could use his outside of the foot and you know just bring it bring in a chavy through ball in the end he does play for barcelona but yeah guys i'm starting to lose my voice these are all the players from the cheapest to the lowest you can see their value and their rating as i slowly go down um but that's it for this video guys make sure to subscribe and like this video if you if you want to see more uh, or if you just enjoyed in general and peace out